Um, Luke, if you just start first, uh, 24 points, six of nine on three pointers. Um, just your thoughts on the game tonight. Yeah, they're uh, they're a great team, and it's finally good to see a few shots go down. Personally, I've been struggling a little, and my coaches and my teammates have put all the confidence in me, so it's finally nice to see a few go down. And then, uh, I mean, they're a great team. They fought till the end, made some huge shots against our zone to keep it close there, and then they crashed the boards better than anyone in the conference. So uh, they're a great team, and uh, I mean, I'm sure they'll be great next year too. Thanks, Luke. If you have a question for Luke, just uh, let me know down in the chat and I'll call on you. That was three games you played with him this year and they were all pretty good. Um, did you learn anything from those first two matchups with them that helped out tonight? Yeah, um, we learned a lot. They like to pick on matchups um, a lot. And a lot of the time it's me sometimes guarding Finch in the middle ball screen. So that was something we really, we really emphasized. And um, our bigs did a great job helping out. And then they try to get mismatches and, you know, maybe post up and the maze they got going there and they tried to go to him. So they really like to pick on matchups when they, they get going and have the right matchup. Let's go to uh, John from Hoops HD first. Go ahead, John. Thanks, Luke. Congrats on the win. Just wanted to get your impressions of Nick. It seems like he only did a little bit in the last game, but he's getting more minutes and producing more. Do you see that he's getting back in shape more and more every game? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think with that type of injury, it's more about trust and not really about how it feels. I think you could tell in the first game he was trying to feel it out and see how he was feeling. And this game he got going a little more and is starting to trust his ankle a little more. So it's good. Uh, let's go to Brian McKeegan next. Go ahead, Brian. Uh, Luke, you guys, uh, about midway through the second half, the deficit, or I'm sorry, the lead was two point. They cut it to two points. Um, what, what is it about this team that you guys didn't seem to panic? Casey didn't need to call a timeout there, and you guys responded and went on a run from there. Yeah, I mean, that's what you play for. It's uh, hard in March, especially when teams get going, the crowd gets into it, and, and every possession feels so important. But we've played a lot of big games, and we've played a lot of cl – uh, not really too many close games, but some down uh, – in the end of the season, and it kind of prepared us for this part. Let's go to uh, Julianne next. Go ahead, Julianne. Hey, Luke, you connected a lot with Grayson tonight. Talk about how important that connection has been all season and especially in tonight's win. Yeah, I mean, playing with Grayson is just, it makes everything easier. He has the best vision out of anyone I've ever played with. So I just try to move and stay open because I know he's going to find me. And vice versa, he moves well off the ball when um, I have it or Jacoby has it or Ben has it. So it's uh, nice. We play well off each other, and it's uh, someone I really enjoy playing with. we got time for a couple more for Luke, if somebody has a question. Okay, uh, Christian, go ahead. Hey, Luke. You talked about a hard-fought game against JSU. How important is it to compete a full 40 minutes against this team? Um, they fought their way back a bunch of different times. Yeah, they're just really resilient. They – Played a long game last night, and I think that probably hurt them a little, but they just kept playing and kept playing and kept crashing the glass. And Ngameze and Kane Henry, they just went and got the ball a lot of the time, and then they made big shots um, down the stretch against the zone, and it kept them in it. So, I mean, they're a really resilient team and a super talented team, so it was a tough test. Anybody else questions for Luke? All right, Luke, thank you very much. Thank you. We're waiting for Coach Alexander. If you know you're going to have a question for Coach, let me know down in the chat, and I will call on you. All right, Coach, uh, just start off your general thoughts, and then we'll go to some uh, – oh, hold on, we lost the uh, – there we go. Uh, general thoughts, and then we'll go to some questions. General thoughts. I mean, I'm obviously glad we won the game. Uh, it was not pretty by any stretch of the imagination, but um, I, I love the way that our team competed. I thought we played hard from beginning to end, uh, played with a lot of energy. Uh, I wish we played, especially on the offensive end, I wish we played a little better. We had some we had some good looks that we didn't make, which is frustrating, but uh, you can't take anything away from a semifinal conference tournament win that puts you in the championship game tomorrow. We're excited about it. You have a question for coach. Let me know down in the chat. We'll start with uh, Emily. Go ahead, Emily. 
Hey coach, uh, not sure if you've heard of this before. Survive in advance is, is something that we say this time of year. Uh, what did it mean to see your guys really gut it out towards the end, even though um, things things weren't going quite their way there? Yeah, I, I do think that our team, our team has a lot of maturity and a lot of experience and a lot of guys that have won a lot of games um, of all types. And so uh, we would have loved to finish better, obviously, but at the same time, you know, we never panicked and guys, uh, just stayed the course and found a way to win the game. And for sure, at this time of the year, the, the most important part of the game, coaching, playing, anything, is to play the next game. And uh, we're playing tomorrow. Uh, let's go to next to John. Go ahead, John. Hey, Coach. Congrats on the win. Uh, last year, you had a one-point win in the championship game. Um, I'm curious, what does it take, like, I was a little nervous towards the end, as I'm sure you were too. It got a little sloppy. How do you clean that up? Is it more mental or physical or something else? Well, I think it's pretty a characteristic of us, uncharacteristic of us, to um, to not finish better than that. You know, we were we were empty on about our last five possessions, and <clears throat> and that's uh, you know we, I, I think we'll be better than that. Put put us right back in the same situation. I think we'll finish the game better. But we missed a back door that I thought we got fouled on. It wasn't called, so we missed it. Uh, we missed three out of our last four free throws. Uh, we have the turnover in the backcourt. And we've got too many good ball handlers, too many good players, uh, not to finish better than we did. Anybody else uh, question for Coach? Let's go to Julianne next. Hey, Coach. Um, you've had sound defense all season, and tonight you guys sent JSU to the line pretty early. Um, how did that play in tonight's closeness uh, at the score? Yeah, well, early in the second half we did. It was, it was really a strange game in that regard because, gosh, at halftime, I don't think there were maybe six or seven fouls combined between the two teams. And then in the second half, they were in the bonus with 15 or 16 minutes to go. And that that's, that's not, hasn't happened to us all year long. And so you give them credit for being the aggressor on the offensive end, and we certainly have to defend better. Uh, there's no way to look at that, but uh, no way to look at it, but that way. Um, but it's a 40-minute game, and a lot of – a lot of twists and turns, and again, I, th I felt like our team believed. You know, it was nice to play with a margin. I mean, we we led. We didn't. They scored first, but we led. Gosh, we had to have led thirty six, seven, eight minutes of the game, and so it's a lot. It's a lot easier when you're on that side uh, when the clock's running. Uh, next, let's go to Brian. Hey, Coach. Uh, we won't talk to you before we know who your next opponent is. Could you? I guess go through uh, Eastern and Moorhead and just tell us uh, their strengths and what you guys have to worry about each team. Yeah, first of all, Brian, I'm disappointed that, I mean, surely you're going to stay up till midnight and see who wins. Uh, I don't want anybody going to bed early, but uh, both teams whipped us last weekend. It's been eight days since we lost to Eastern Kentucky, and it's been uh, six days since we lost to Moorhead State. And so those memories are fresh in our mind. They're very – different teams, contrasting styles, uh, EKU, a lot of energy, 94 feet, um, you know, really wide open on both ends of the floor and, and Moorhead State almost the opposite, really solid, really tough, uh, mistake free, a lot more simple, uh, but you got to earn it. So either way, we'll have our work cut out for us. They were second and the third in the league in the regular season for a reason, um, <clears throat> but I think we're up for the challenge. I can't wait. Got time for one or two more. If anybody has a question for Coach? All right, Coach. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys.